quarantine, a state, period, or place of isolation in which people that have arrived from elsewhere or been exposed to infectious or contagious diseases are placed. What's going on, my passion propellers? Welcome back, man. Check this out. So, as I'm going through my floor, which is deemed as the quarantine floor, hold on one second, one second. Triple limb, Marauders Lake moves, legendary mural there. But uh, as I continue, as I'm going through my quarantine floor, right, for those that may get sick or come down with the coronavirus, right, this area is only authorized for them. Thank God that this hasn't been utilized yet, but my stellar soldiers went through and cleaned the rooms one by one by one, make sure that they were thoroughly clean, right? So I was thinking, when it comes down to quarantine, I dropped the definition of what quarantine was, but think about it, right? Oftentimes, more times than not, we need to quarantine ourselves from certain things things that we need to quarantine ourselves from are the seven most powerful negative emotions. And no matter how much of an optimistic person you can be, sometimes some people just have this aura about them, right? Where they see your optimism and they just wanna bring it down. So you can't always change who you encounter on a day-to-day -day basis, right? But if for the seven most powerful negative emotions are Fear, anger, greed, hate, jealousy, revenge, and superstition. The seven most powerful negative emotions. If you're gonna quarantine yourself from anything outside of the coronavirus, quarantine yourself from those emotions, people. Quarantine yourself from people that carry those emotions on them. Those emotions are equivalent to spiritual death. Those very emotions are equivalent to not only spiritual death, but mental death, destiny death. If you find yourself around people that's carrying those emotions around them on a regular basis, I'm gonna need you to go ahead and quarantine yourself. I'm gonna need you to go ahead and quarantine yourself. Just step into one of these rooms, in your mind, whatever you gotta do. Step into these rooms, preset for people just in case. Just in case something go down, right? Because when a person is dwelling in those emotions, what they want from you is for you to reside in those same negative energies. That's what they desire because that's what they living in. Because their spirit or their mind might be a little trifling because they don't want to even challenge themselves to clean it up, but you do, and they don't like that. Don't find yourself on the opposite end of that. Receive that, breathe that. Now you will be that and you don't want to do that. Don't do it. Don't do it. So quarantine yourself, people. Quarantine yourself. What's a good way to quarantine yourself in this time? Understand you can't go anywhere now, right? You got mile radiuses that you don't need to go right now. So how do you do that and still sit still? Read a book. Read a book. There's amazing audio books on YouTube. Maybe you ain't in the read. Listen to some of the books, right? Meditate. Those are a few things you can do. Meditate, 10 minutes a day. Start with five, then go to 10, then go to 15. You at home anyway, why not do it? But it's so important, man, to quarantine yourself from this world because you could be in the world, but you don't have to be of the world. You could be in the world, as the scripture says, but not of the world. It's okay. It is important to go away, to gather yourself, get that mental health that you need, right? Quarantine yourself, people. All right? As always, don't forget to propel in y'all passion. I love y'all. Hey, also, subscribe, subscribe, man. I want to thank everybody that's been subscribing and sharing, man. All right? I love y'all. Peace.